Hey, what is going on YouTube? Jonathan from VFX Shorts here going through another tutorial in Final Cut Pro 10. Today we'll be going on how to do simple film burn effects in uh, Final Cut Pro. I will be going through another iMovie tutorial, so check, stay tuned for that. And if there, it's out, I'll add a link if this if it's already out. Uh, so here we're going to go on our timeline. Uh, I'm going to grab this clip. I have the Canon EF 100-400mm lens. I am working on a review, nice review of it hooked up to my Canon T3i and uh, here are the foam burns I have here and a uh, huge shout out to Digital Cinema Foundry for supplying these foam burns they have them for free to go check them out link will be down in the description for you guys to check out they have four free foam burns these four that I have here all in 720p so it looks a little not that good in this uh, canvas here but on YouTube it looks fine they do have 1080p if you want to opt out the money to pay for it and they have a huge library of other uh, videos that you can use in your own uh, videos at a cost though. So here we go, let's pan through each one. I'll show you guys how they look. I'll give you a little background. Film burns are generally used for sport videos, but more specifically used for uh, skateboarding videos. And they do add a great effect. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find a nice point in our video that we want to add the film burn. So let's say I want to add the film burn from here. I'm going to get my blade tool. I'm going to cut right here by pressing B. You get your blade tool. You can go here and select it. And then I'm going to keep going and see where I want it to end. And let's say I want it to end when it reaches the other side of the lens hood. And uh, okay, that sounds good. And then I'll press my A tools to go back to my select tool and I'll delete that and then let's say we want this first film burn and add that in so right now if you play it back it looks like that obviously and that's not clean at all that is not how you should have your videos you want a smooth transition so what I'm going to do is right click you can also go to your effects browser and add the cross dissolve but I just right click it says it's definitely a cleaner way add cross dissolve Press create full overlap and voila, you have two cross dissolves right there. We'll play that back from here. And that is definitely a cleaner transition of that video. So th thank you guys for watching. I hope this is a good tutorial for you guys. I, um, you can do this in many ways, as I said, sport videos, but you can do it in a video like this to just add a little bit of uniqueness in your video or it adds a little bit of flair. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe for more tutorials and content like this. I will be providing more and uh, like this video. Uh, if, if you guys have friends that want to know how to do this, show them this video and uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good day and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.